So there are usually uh, two ways to do this. To go from a fraction to a decimal. The first way is when you get an easy fraction, right, Shannon? Okay, when you get an easy fraction, you get something like this. What you do is you try to work with a denominator that's a little bit more useful, like 100. So you try to set it up with something over 100, or tenths, or hundredths, or thousand, or, cent, or anything like that. So we look for a common multiplier. So in this case, we can multiply by 25. And of course, whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So we did that to the bottom, so we do it to the top. So this would end up giving us 25 over 100 which would give us our decimal of 25 hundredths. So it's 25 hundredths. Of course, not every fraction works out so nicely. Unfortunately, when we get something like 5 eighths, it doesn't go into 100 very easily. We could sit there and try and figure it out. Some of us know it's 12 and a half, but the rest of us look at it and say, eh, it's not going to work out. So we decide not to do this. We end up putting it as a, as a, and of course, my smart board crashes. <laughs> Come on, reattach, reattach. Come on back. Oh, there it is. Let's try it out. All right, five, and then eight. The key to this one is this top number always goes in the cage. So we end up dividing like we normally do for our decimals. So that goes in what six times. So we get forty-eight. We got our decimal point right there. Got a 2, drop a 0. That's twice. Gives us 16, which gives us a 4. Drop down another 0, which gives us 5. And we have ourselves our decimal. And we can always set that up as a fraction as well. That's 625 thousandths. 625 thousandths. And if we were to simplify this, we'd end up at our original answer. And, that is and that's the way we change our fractions into decimals.